Hello and welcome to my 26th Blitz 3D tutorial and in this tutorial you will learn how to create uh, two viewports and how to split them and that's most commonly used in multiplayer games because in multiplayer games you need two cameras to display what they're seeing at the screen off at the same time and as you know uh, by default your camera is set to be positioned at zero on the X, zero on the Y, and zero on the Z and it just displays what it sees. And if you try to add in another camera, you'll just see uh, what you'll just see everything through your first camera. And the second camera basically won't be active. Now to change this, you need to create two separate viewports for the, your cameras and set the settings to make each camera display only a portion of the screen. So that's what we're going to do today in Blitz 3D. So let's just we have our simple camera and let's just create a cylinder and let's just position our cylinder right after I create it at 0 on the X 0 on the Y and 5 on the Z axis and now if we run our program just hit F5 we have our simple cylinder and notice if we make any changes to our camera, for instance, rotating it, uh, camera, rotating it 45 degrees on the x-axis, you see that the object seems to change place. That's because our camera rotated forward, and now the object is up there. So we see everything through our camera, our first camera. And for instance, let's just say we wanted to have a different viewpoint of this object. So that's why we create another camera. Camera 1. We set it to create camera. Uh, by default, it's positioned to 0 on the X, 0 on the Y, and 0 on the Z. Now if we run this program, we'll just see what we saw in our first camera. And to change this, to actually have two different viewpoints of our original this of our original and same object cylinder we have to create our viewport to do that just type camera viewport and then the name of the camera you want to set the viewport for in this case first camera and now there are four values the x value y value the width and the height so first it's going to draw it at these two points. It's going to start drawing our viewport. And then it's going to go off as far in the X as the width. And then down uh, as far as height. Now we want our camera to be the top portion of our screen. So down half of our graphics height. And there are two handy commands. Graph, And there are actually graphics width. Which returns the... Uh, graphics width in pixels and graphics height and we assigned both of those values right here so when our graphics section so here we have our two commands that will come in incredibly useful because no we can't set it to a definite value because if our game is running on some kind of other guy's computer he might have completely messed up viewports so we want it to work and have like half of the portion of the screen display one viewport and another half display another viewport at any any graphics resolution so for now we put uh, let's start drawing our first we're gonna have uh, two cameras one camera is on the top portion of the screen down to half of our graphics height and then the other camera is just going to display the other bottom bottom of the screen so let's just start drawing it at uh, zero on the x and zero on the y Let's make our width be full screen width, so it's graphics width. Let me see if I can spell width right. And our graphics height is just going to be our original graphics height divided by 2. There you go. And now let's just create another viewport for our camera, for our camera 1 this time. So camera viewport, camera 1, uh, let's draw it at 0 on the X, but now we have to draw it from that half middle point down. So graphics height 
divided by 2. Let's make our width be, of course, our original width. Because we want our cameras to be with full width. And then the last part, how high we want our uh, camera to be, is just going to be, again, graphics height divided by 2. Alright, so there you go. We created our simple camera viewport. So now, if we run this program, we will see that there's no borderline displayed right now. But one second, we don't see, I'm just going to change the angle. We don't see the top part, which is our original camera since it's rotated too much. Let's change this rotation to be only about 20 degrees. And there we go. We, we, there's no borderline displayed between the two cameras. Here's our camera one, which is just neutral position. We see our object as it is. And here's our camera, which we rotated. And we see the other object. This is the same object. And just to prove that to you, I will make uh, two simple key controls. One will control the down arrow key, which is key 208. And let's just make it translate our cylinder. Let's make it translate it a bit down. Because we want it to translate down. And here as our second key control, we will make our up arrow key. And there we go. So now, if we run this program, and let me just move this window over so you guys can see. If we run that program, we now see our split viewports. And if we move our arrow key, we see that both cylinders move, but the views of the cylinders still stay the same. Well, it's really not both cylinders, it's the same cylinder, but the cameras viewing them are just in different positions. And that was basically it for my tutorial, guys. And you can do any viewport you like. Basically, you can make it uh, one camera on the left and the other camera on the right. You can have four cameras, like one on the top le left corner, one on the top right, bottom left, bottom right. This was basically the most original and simple uh, viewport to make. So thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you got something out of this tutorial. And see ya.